Yo. Hey. Can you hear me? You listening to Hashtag W A W What a week. What a week. Week. Welcome to Wow, What a Week. When you look around our set, you'll see a wide range of things from bright colors, screens, mugs, microphones. What you won't see, however, are stickers limiting entry or viewership. The only thing we probably wouldn't welcome are closed minds. So open your mind. So with that out of the way, welcome back to Wow, What a Week. This is Wow, What a Week. What a Week. You can't make this shit up. Our comedian guest is in the building. Someone once said that nothing is certain except death and taxes. But he didn't say anything about finding humor in things wherever you can. Our next guest is someone who knows about laughing while not forgetting to pay his taxes too. You go, boy. Please give a wow welcome to comedian Tabiso. Mshlongo, depending on which side of the river you grew up. <laughs> the white people say mshlongo. And then you're like, look in your pants, are like, no, not yeah, quite. It puts me under pressure. Because I'm like, oh, no, don't do that. Well, <laughs> well, I don't expect, expect you to be shlonging. <laughs> Tom's uh, welcome, my dude. Thank you, man. Thank you for having me. Yo, it's such a pleasure to be here. You're in an elevator with a five-year-old. Uncle, uncle, what do you do? What do you do? What's your elevator pitch to a five-year-old in 30 seconds? Who are you? What do you do? I make people happy with my words. Jeez, okay. You're a mother. (laughs) (laughs) No, mothers lie to make people happy. Me, I don't lie. I tell the truth most of the time. But yeah, yeah. I make people happy with my words. Um, And I tell jokes. That's as simple as it can be, yeah. In fact, speaking of uh, lies, uh, one of the big stories this uh, week is uh, Dr. Lani, Dr. Matthew, depending on uh, which of yeah, yeah, the yeah. two you've experienced. What's the longest lie you've maintained before we get into Dr. Lani? I'm sure he'd love that. The longest lie I've maintained is probably ever since I broke up with my baby mama. Uh, how Every long, time I meet How long ago was this? This is like, what, uh, six years ago? So you're Will Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that guy's going through everything, guys. You thought Hancock was drinking because it's just a black superhero, no? He's got house problems, that guy. What in the world is that about? Yeah, but we'll get that. Let's talk about your lie first. So Yeah, my lie. You broke up with a baby mama, what, six? Six years ago, yeah, okay. roughly six years ago. Why did you guys break up? What did you do? I didn't do anything, no? No one did anything. It was literally one of those situations where... Hey man, um, I'm trying to pursue this thing, yeah, and, and she this can't be the boyfriend pursuing this thing. Oh, I you know what I'm I, saying? I, I hear you. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. your hustle didn't make sense to her. Yeah. Also, it didn't make sense to me to be with her while putting her through all of that. But isn't that why you get a partner, someone who can hold your hand through your hustle? Yes, but if the hustle is rough. You know, but how rough can it be? You're not you're not a Navy SEAL. No, but this is the beginning. This is like not when you are invited to Wow What a Week. This is, you know, you're doing Wow What an empty fridge. Yeah, those those stages. (laughs) (laughs) This is a oh, I'm back from work and you've been writing jokes the whole day. Yeah, where are you gonna perform? You don't even have a stage to perform, but you one day is one. And then you're like, listen, let me knock you up. How's that for production? Oh. <laughs> you know too much. That's the problem. You know way too much. You thought a baby would fix everything. No, that was... Okay, you're saying it now, and she's going to think, no, that's not... The, the baby was love. The baby was purely... Uh, but no, uh, after that, it was like, man, this can't be... A struggling father trying to tell jokes, you know. Oh no, no I hear you. Yeah, hear it's got to be a guy. But you still use the fact that you have a baby mama as an excuse to whom, though? No, 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 I don't. Yeah. So ever since I broke up with her, every time I meet with a person that I like, <laughs> yeah. to give myself enough time to determine if this is going to be a real relationship or not, I tell them I am in a relationship. Ah. Yes. So you're, you're a guy, basically. I'm just a random dude. <laughs> you're a I'm guy. I'm just a random guy. You're just, just... guying. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the longest lie I've ever told. Yeah, I think that that is 
Yeah, the other ones are still ongoing, so I can't really, you know. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, because yes. then it won't be a lie anymore. I remember in uh, primary school, yeah. um, we went on holiday with, with the folks. But we didn't really go on holiday. We went to the village. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But because, you know, after holidays, you must tell your friends what your holiday was like. Um, so I told my friends that I met triplets that I was now dating. Oh, my god! This is in grade four. I maintained that lie until grade seven. Every holiday, I tell them that, yeah, I know, you know. Right. Because <laughs> I guess it, it, it's a lie back then. At this point, anyone would believe that, yeah, fresh triplets, I mean, yeah. But back then, it was a, ah, uh, it's also a primary school lie. Are you, triplets. Say, are you saying I could bag triplets? You, now. You give me too much uh, credit, eh? Man. Eh? All you got to say is, oh, shit. Uh, hey, man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Cabin for four. <laughs> <laughs> All you gotta say is O ship, girl. O go, ship. Go to O There's still a handful of cabins uh, remaining if you'd like to cruise with us the first weekend of December. It's gonna be an incredible, incredible cruise. You've done yeah. O ship before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was my first time on a ship, by the way. Shout out to you for bringing me on. That was so dope. It was my first time on a cruise ship. For, first time on the sea. For people that have never been on O ship, why should they go? on that cruise you need to go on that cruise to you know how sometimes fancy things seem like they're far away oh yeah they seem like you gotta spend this much money basically it seems like that's white folks stuff yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. exactly exactly. so most of the time you think ah it's I can't it's It's out of reach it's out of reach yeah Yeah, also when you see promos and stuff I mean, it's fresh. It's euphonic. Because you go, yo, that's for celebrities, dog. Yes, yes, I can't, yes, 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 I yes, can't yes, mingle yes. there. And then when you get the, the the people you meet, even you're like, oh snap! People plan the whole year for this. People so make matching outfits. Yeah, for all these crews, dude. It's it's incredible to see because you go, oh, it is possible. Yeah. It's just. I never thought about the part where you can actually plan, budget the whole year Absolutely. and whatever. Absolutely. And you can pull up. Some people don't even have to budget. Some yeah. people just bonus and then... And then you're done. You're mm, sorted. Baby. So this uh, Dr. Lani, Dr. Matthew dude... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, ...says... Did he say he... I think he skipped two or three grades in school. Yeah. And uh, he didn't get him a trick. He got a certificate because he did a Cambridge or O-levels or something. Yeah. And then all of a sudden he was a doctor. And, and I mean, he's very popular on TikTok, over 200,000 uh, followers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, for me, the first time I knew this doesn't make sense was when he was doing a TikTok video with his stethoscope on, but it's in his ears. <laughs> I'm like, no doctor does that. <laughs> it's such a small thing, but it's such a weird thing to do because you go, what? No, no doctor walks around with a stethoscope in, in his ears, ears, like the flipping earbuds. It's not unless it's earphones. a patient. It's like walking around with a tongue depressor, Jay, yeah. because I'm a doctor. <laughs> that time it's an ice cream stick. <laughs> I, I knew, I knew that guy was lying when he mentioned that. Yeah, he skipped certain grades. Yeah, I'm like children who are smart in school don't say skip. Yeah, I got promoted. Sure. Skip means you didn't attend. Skip means you didn't show no, up. No, no. Skip thing. means oh, he was in the playground, and that's when we knew he was gay because you were skipping <laughs> along. That's the, that's the skip that applies to him. <laughs> he was yeah. saying la 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 la, and he's not a Smurf. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's when we knew. That, but here's my problem, though. Yeah. The reason this the whole uproar happened was because of TikToks. Sure. And it's not because of malpractice. That's the problem. You know what I'm saying? That means this guy was healing folks out there. But was he healing folks though? I don't know what he was doing, but he was doing it well because it was working, right? There's a story of a young nurse, I think, in Pumalang, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Noms, I know her. She... The one who was fired? Oh, no. I thought, no, oh, sorry. Oh, Different no. Show. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> My man, zip up your pants. We don't want to see your stethoscope now. It's like, yeah, no, I'm sorry. Come here. <laughs> hey, she was fired. <laughs> no, no. There's a doctor, a nurse, mm-hmm. who apparently wanted to call him out on his bullshit. Oh, yeah. Allegedly. And he, he, she was sued. 
and he won. But wow. nobody thought to look and see if this guy indeed is a doctor. Yeah, man. It's also like it's such a weird story, man. Because also, with so much that's happening in the country, with so many answers that we need, yeah, all these official institutions and government officials and whatnot mm, mm. are taking their time out to to just say we don't know this person. Can you and imagine? I'm like, yo, these people are giving this person too much attention. In fact, we should just all move on with our lives. And and if he needs to be arrested, let him be arrested. If he needs yeah, to yeah, do yeah. time, let him do time. But let's keep it moving. But now now there's vets saying this, there's government officials saying this, this you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. If this guy really is a lie and is not that important. The, I think there's why also, is everyone did Umalusi also not say he doesn't have a metric? But yes. He, but he's never claimed a metric though. Remember. But he, now they're just jumping in to because compound. Because everyone is talking. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure someone at Spay is gonna say, We didn't sing happy birthday for him. Yeah. Because everyone wants to comment now. <laughs> well, he's talking about he was twenty four. No, he came here when he was twenty one. That's two thousand and two. He was twenty one. It's such a strange like situation. Because I'm like, okay, he lied, yeah. And then what's up with everyone though? What's what's up with everyone just jumping up and yo? We don't know this person. You know what it is also? Because we are quick to generally believe people who claim authority. Mm. I mean, um, even with the Dr. Paolo Jordan, because he was called Dr. Paolo Jordan, we all assume he was a doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gant is just a name from Costa uh-huh. you know, People you, you call him that. It's almost like when people call you something, but you don't stop them. You just let it happen. But you didn't claim it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is what I suspect happened there. So it just went with You know what I mean? But it shows you that we're quick to believe anyone that seems to speak good English. Maybe that's what the word. So if someone spoke horrible English, but we're on social media giving advice, we'll probably think, are they really a doctor? Based on the English, not necessarily based on what What, they're saying. Yeah, yeah. Of course. So for instance, with Dr. Lani, majority of the stuff he was talking about, if you did a Google search, You'd see that he was reading a Google search. Oh, snap. He'd Googled some of the things he was talking about. And you can oh, see it. Oh, yeah, yeah, but yeah. But yeah, because yeah. we, uh, English is such high currency, we think because he speaks well, then, then he, must, he be, must be a doctor. Yeah. He must be a doctor. And that is the problem. And, 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 and I think it's actually showcasing exactly that. Mm. That generally we give English such. I mean, yes, uh, we give it that so much power. Anyone who speaks English must, they, they must be qualified. Yeah, it's true. It's true. I've seen it even with like parents, mothers. Yeah. When with the newborn babies, sure. they like to do that whole thing. Oh, my child is smart. She knows English. And you are there like, but that's a he. Yeah. <laughs> so if you don't know English, how can the child know English? You, you are playing games with us. You know what I'm saying? But we've seen it. We've seen it. People do that. It's a. It's almost like English is not a measure of intelligence. It's not. It's just, a, langu- it's just a language. We treat it like that. We treat it like... I mean, if you went to a doctor yeah. and he said in proper, in a proper English way, like, oh, right, so I'm going to snip the pancreas and then you'll be fine after that. You think like, this guy knows what he's doing. Exactly. Mara, if, he's, if you went to the same uh, doctor and he was like, okay, pancreas, chop, chop, you'd be like, ah, 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 ah. But he was top of his medicine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Medicine here. But it, like, it reassures you, dog. It reassures you, like, oh, man, this person knows what they're talking about. You know what I mean? Yeah. It kind of helps. I don't know. It's, it's, we shouldn't. We shouldn't. But we do. We do. In fact, you remind me of uh, our, the, the new census results out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, it seems like English is now only, is it the fifth uh, most spoken home language in the country? Really? Uh, yes. Sipedi has uh, bypassed English. Oh, wow. I think, I think Sipedi is uh, the fourth most spoken uh, home language now, if I'm not mistaken. Mama. Which is a good thing. Because then it means we're speaking less English at home, mm. which I believe should be the case. Here's okay, maybe it's because I'm from Barberton. Right? Yes. I'm from Barberton, very small town. Ekaya. Yeah. It's not Kulumi English. Yeah. School must sweat every day, every yes, day. Absolutely. It would even get to a point where the parents would question. I mean, uh, you had English and you never speak English with us. And I'm like, 
you know, I'm at a school my sort, say Yes. But I don't know, I don't know if the rest of the country was always different with like being English, with English being spoken at home. It's wild that for some families, they take pride in the fact that the child only speaks English. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That it's some sort of achievement that my child only speaks English. Yeah. I mean, I mean, with our kids, whenever they got to nursery school, they got to nursery school speaking zero English. Yeah. They only spoke Setswana and Sepedi. Nothing else. Because kids learn fast. They'll get yeah, yeah. to the English eventually. They latch on, yeah. They, they latch on to the English very, mm. very, very, very fast. That's the word of the day, latch. Latch. Yeah? Yeah. It's showing us that... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's a hoa. <laughs> and, 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 and it's unfortunate that we... And for some people, actually, they don't give a fuck yeah, yeah, whether yeah. my kid can speak uh, my, my home language or not. Or not, yeah. For me, it's everything. And, 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 and I think we need to all guard our languages as jealously as Afrikaans people guard Afrikaans. That's supposed to be... Afrikaans people are very jealous of Afrikaans mm. and they will fight for it. But would your average person be willing to fight for the language? I don't think so, man. I mean, the primary school my eight-year-old, Lifika is at, yeah. we chose that school for him because it was the only primary school that was offering Setswana at uh, primary level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything else is either Isizulu or Afrikaans. Dude. Only Afrikaans or Isizulu. It's such a weird thing. It's right? the weirdest thing. Because these are it's, languages. It's and... almost 30 years of independence, but we're still being told capacity, capacity, capacity. What You've had 30 years to ensure that kids can learn any language mm. in their home language. But we're still not providing for that. That's tragic. Right. It goes back to even the similar to, uh, like topic you had with Tats. Yeah. Uh, but the whole thing, because that breeds a world of, out of this situation, we can't have an industry based on this language. We can't have yes. artists based on this language. We can't have this and that. So it just, it stems from that. And it it seems like such a futile thing. To just say, tell your child to speak your home language. But in reality, it makes such a huge difference. We, all the kids, all the kids sound cute when yeah. they know English, when sure. they're tiny and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. But all the adults who don't know their home languages, they're the worst people you can ever encounter. It's dude. Because you go, what? Only English. And, and that is why we need to push back even from the schools where you're told... Mm. You only speak English in school. Even in the playground. Yeah. The offices and workplaces where you're told you don't speak Bantu here. Yeah. You only speak English. <laughs> With a subtle, subtle. And, 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 and it almost sounds like they're afraid that the natives might talk about us behind our backs. Yeah, because yeah, they can't hear. That's what it smells like. Mm. And for me, we need to guard against that. We need to fight against that and say that we're in Africa here. You should be speaking like us, mm. not us thinking we've achieved something speaking like you. Exactly. But you see, you see where it, it gets to. Now, every every black person who speaks English yeah. is just normal. Yeah. Oh, you know a language. Mm. For every little, or not every little, but for every one white person who says Sunny Bonani, oh, you gotta be the mayor of Durban. It's like yeah, I give them. The, the, they can you keep the land. I mean? They can keep the land. Uh, they dance. It, it stems from that because when when they do the bare minimum, they, yeah. you celebrate. It's like yeah, li, 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 li. keep the land, keep the land. You dance on my piano. Dude, keep the land. I've seen so many whack white TikTokers, and I'm like, really. <laughs> Really? I can do better than that. But when I do it, I'm compared to who? Yeah. The big guns. The, yes, oh, the best dancers in the world. And yeah. you're like, but this guy, yeah, Maria Sam. Ah No. No. We, it, the bar is the bar. It should the be. The bar is the bar. It should be the bar. And, and, and the bare minimum can't be celebrated. We oh, expect we, we expect the bare minimum. Yeah. We expect the bare minimum. We expect you to be a part of the community within which you live. Make an effort. In South Africa, if you're South African and you can speak one of the official languages other than English, it shouldn't be a celebration. It's not a big deal. You just know one of your local languages. Yeah. That's what it is. But I know this personally from stand-up. Mm. You watch a guy like who's not of color. 
come into a black audience and yeah. destroy only because there's one or two vernac words in there yeah. and people lose their minds. Yeah. Oh my gosh, he said, Hola, hate <laughs> Like, no one says that anymore. Dude, but, Trump, Minister Trevor Manuel would give his speech and greet us in nine languages and we'd fucking lose our minds. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a very neat trick. It's a very neat like trick. Someone probably wrote those for him. Like, come on. <laughs> and it's not fair for the rest of us who yeah. operate using foreign languages. Yeah. But no one celebrates it. It's just there, uh, you know. Another thing from Census uh, 2022 is South Africans are increasingly shying away from marriage, believe it or not. Yeah. Uh, yes, less and less South Africans are getting married, um, according to, to, to the new census. It makes sense. And, and, and based on how Jada has been treating Will Smith, can you blame them? Because a lot of, especially South Africans who are Will Smith fans and Jada fans, have seen them as, as this perfect couple. Yeah, we were all duped, eh? As this perfect couple. Before social media, that's the thing. Before social media, we thought those guys were perfect, right? Yeah. And then they started having red table talks and we're like, hey, hey. So, yeah, so, that house. So Jada Pinkett told People magazine that she and Will have been separated since 2016. My brother. Uh, it's been over since 2016. <sighs> and when you look back at that red table where they spoke about August Alsina and the entanglement, now that I think back to it, Will looked like he was speaking to his ex. Ne- you, you know where you are looking for answers from your ex? Closure. That, you know, almost like Tao did with Karabasu. How many times? How many did you times? S- how many times? <laughs> eh? Three. Ah! <coughs> yeah. I, was, I was waiting for Will Smith to do that to the table. Yeah. Entanglement. Ah! That's what I was waiting for. I, I, I don't think I'd ever ask. Okay? Ah, just, you, you don't want to know? Ah, dude. Let that let it go, man. You'd have okay, sharp. But at twin the morning, you're gonna be under. I wonder how many times it was. Ay, 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 ay. dude. I and see wife at that time, whatever. I struggle with getting back with an ex. Mm. Have you ever gotten back with an ex? Oh, so reunited. So reunited doesn't work for you. No, bro. Because sometimes you get back to an ex, and they know something that. They didn't know before you guys broke up. Also, they come differently. <laughs> yeah, now all of like before you broke up, they never like they, they never oral. Came, they never came like that. Yeah, you're like what? Now did all you? of a sudden you're like, like, who taught you these like, things? Like, why, how, why are you writing me like that? You never used to do that. <laughs> <laughs> now all of a sudden, call me dad, him now. We just happened for because you never used to speak. You you know what I'm saying? You like it. it's it's oh, I like it, but ah, uh, uh, who taught you this? So it's tricky. It's tricky. Now imagine it's your. Now you want to know what? I, oh no, because it does look like he was talking to his ex, but it also feels but, like but he also looked hurt though. He was like he, he looked, was red eyed. He the looked. Whole time. He looked defeated, and and but he also looked like he was forced to get into the conversation. Yeah. Which then brings us to the question: has, Did he eat something? that now he needs to go to a traditional healer to expel. <laughs> no. no, because that's whipped, that's whipped behavior, dog. I, but, you know, hey, certain women can do that, man. Um, there are women out there who are that powerful, Yeah. who can control a guy and make him seem like, you know when they say behind a great guy there's a woman or a whatever, woman, yes. and you're like, yeah, it's puppet things, eh? Yeah. There's a woman going, hey, hey. Which then brings us to the slap, though. What so why are you saying keep my wife's name out of your mouth if it's not your wife anymore? It makes it so much so much more embarrassing because now they've broken up in the car. So why would you call me a wife in front of all those people? And and, and, and it's not, oh, my gosh. It's and, and, and she Chris. told, in fact, uh, Jada told uh, People Magazine that she thought it was a skit. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, because she's like she, she. She said to herself, "There's no way he hit, he hit him." She thought it was a skit. Nah, 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 nah. The nah, whole nah. time, this woman is a gaslighter, bro. She's just gaslighting the whole situation. She knew what she was doing. She knew what she was doing. She probably coerced Will into doing the red tape, the red table talk. Yeah. Come on, Will. What are you afraid of? Come on. So, question: You 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 speak about breaking up with the baby, uh, baby mama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you, how would you feel if you've broken up with your baby mama uh-huh. and Tats and Cons or, or any of the other comedians ask her out? 
How do you feel about that? <laughs> is there a bro code when it comes to that? I think there is. Yeah. Um, look, it would depend. On what? On if it's real you, or you, what? You sound like you're about to say, if it's Trevor, it's okay, but if it's Kumba, it's not. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> at, least, at, 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 at least you'll have a rich stepfather. <laughs> yeah. Look, if it's someone who can put me on, you know, then we can talk about it. We're a family. Like, We're a family. We're raising a child together, it's brother. Like, baby, put your back into it, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bag here. No, no, no. Hey, I don't know, man. I'm very... I think should, should, I there be, should there be a bro code? There should be. I personally, I don't know about other comedians, but I know comedians yeah. are the same, bro. We wanna, we all wanna do great things, yeah. But we don't wanna see someone do what we've done. Okay. So, even if I sell out Medicine Square Garden, sure. If the next guy does it, I'll say congratulations, but mm. I'll be slightly it'll, pissed. That it'll hurt a bit. Why would you? Why couldn't you just go to? Go to Orlando Market Stadium. Theater. Yeah, go to Orlando Stadium. Yeah. Why are you, you know, going to Madison why would Square? You wanna... I've done Madison Square already. Yeah, so it's like a, I would I would have that thing of, hey, dog. If they love each other, I guess, but I would be so, terrible in that relationship. I would be a thorn in that relationship. I would try my best every day yeah. to mess it up. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I no, mean, no let, lies. Let me tell you why I'm asking and why maybe the slap happened. Yeah. Um, so Jada says Chris Rock asked her out one summer amid divorce rumors. Uh, yes. Uh, that's what she told People magazine. She says he called me and basically said, I'd like to take you out. And she says she told him, what do you mean? He was like, well, aren't you and Will getting a divorce? Where's the bro code here? And I was like, no, Chris, those are just rumors. He was appalled and he profusely apologized. And that was that. Why are you asking my wife out? Also, I don't know if that sounds divorce real, rumors. Though. So Chris called her, hey, you want to you wanna go out? Yeah. Damn. I heard you're getting divorced. Yeah, just like that. Like, I, I, I heard I, you're getting a divorce, you want to go out? I don't understand. Right. Where's the bro code? Gah. Oof. Or is it true? That no one belongs to anyone. It's just your turn. <laughs> no, no. Jada belongs to Tupac. That's we all know that. Also, it was just Will's turn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was Will's turn. She belongs to Tupac. She's always belonged to Tupac. She probably knows who shot Tupac. She's quiet about it. But yo, there should be a bro code, right? There should be a. I'm, I'm so confused. But also, I mean, we can we can talk about bro code and whatnot. Almost every guy has had a moment where they, well, like, I shouldn't, but hey, so are you saying it my way? So, so the bottom line, though, then generally is whomever you are with right now, yeah. chances are one or two of your boys will hit it the minute they get a chance. So this is how I look at it, right? Yeah. It's not linear yeah. in terms of time. Sure. So. If I meet a girl yeah. and we do whatever, sure. she's probably met other guys. Sure. It might be possible that 10 years from now, mm. I'll meet guys she met before me. Sure. And then we become friends or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I look at it in that sense. Okay. Like you can't really, you know, go wild over it. Mm. It hurts though when it's a guy you know and then he's aware of everything. And a guy who might be in your circle. Yes. And they're aware, though, that this is how it's happening. These guys are breaking up. In fact, it happened to a friend of mine just literally four or five years ago. Yeah. That the ink had not hardly dried up on the divorce uh, decree. And his friends were already asking out. Um, I don't know if I'm going off topic or what. But no, I think it's still topic. within... within yeah. Uh, I saw, so I like on on social media. I yeah. saw Doctor Musa yeah. and uh, Liesl, and Liesl, yes. and and how he's always showering her with love and all that. Yes, yes, yes. And I'm like, this guy loves her. It's beautiful to see. Yes. But I'm also going. When she was with, dude. Who proverb? Yes. Yeah. Was he able to? Because that's the kind of love you go. No one is able to hide this kind of thing. Okay. 
it's he, he always wants to express it to show it. So when she was but with why, why must you drag people's exes into the current relationship though? We know. And why is proverb catching strays? It's not a stray. We're talking about the same thing. Okay. So now it's a what's the bro code there? Yeah. Because you see Are they the friends, way. Though? Are they friends? They. They might not be friends. Same they industry, might, but they're not same friends. Same industry, yeah, yeah, yeah. But my point is, he felt whatever he felt. It's not like he felt, started feeling that when they broke up. So are you saying he wanted it even when she was with Pro? I mean, do, do you think it started when it ended? It divorced, then all of a sudden, oh, you are hot. Dude, we could be in the same industry for 100 years, but yeah. may not see you that way until we have one conversation and everything yeah. changes. I guess. It doesn't mean I've been looking at you perving. Yes, or of looking course. at you and say, oh, proverb is like. Oh, but it's not perving. The way he's doing it, it like looks like key, real love, though. It looks yeah. like this guy truly loves this person. Yeah. To a point where you even go, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That other thing was never meant to be. This is where they were they were meant to be. Okay. So you start thinking about it. But then in the general scheme of things, mm. with the relationships and the bro code and whatnot, yeah. what happens if your bro genuinely feels like that sure. for an individual you're with and and you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah. so you, how, you do you, do you argue do you fight but there has been situations without mentioning names yeah. where you go nah man your boy hey your boy is head over heels man yeah he's head over heels your boy already. is in love with your woman yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and I don't know if we can and, judge and, anyone and for it. And faint for one minute and you'll find out. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Deus Sean. He's going to get there first. Oh, sorry. So sorry. Cry, so sorry. Cry here. Here's a shoulder. Cry here. I'm sorry. That's just my cell phone throbbing in my face. <laughs> <laughs> Cry some more. It's, it's tricky. It's tricky. Because what are the oh, rules? You know, you know what I'm saying? What are the rules? Bro code. I used to believe in bro code until I saw guys decide that fuck bro code. Yeah. So I've decided fuck bro code. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'm 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 done with bro code. I'm at a stage where I say, uh, if you blink too long, she might be gone. Yeah. That's where I am right now. No, no, that's where I am right now because I've realized that you know what the guys you think are your friends generally wish they were you. Yeah. Or they wish they were with the person you are with. Oof. They're not necessarily friends, friends. They're not necessarily happy for you. They're just looking for that thing they're looking for. You know, the happiness for you, you might be mistaking um, 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 happiness for you, but grand, grand, it's happiness they've seen their next target. Yes, they've <laughs> identified. You brought... Also, eh? there is that thing yeah. where dudes won't yeah. up until... The door is open. Oh, yes. Oh, we can't. We can yeah, never. Yeah, That's yeah. beyond our level. Sure. Then you bring them across. Oh, what? We yeah, can't? Exactly. Then they, that's exactly. their excess. You know oh, what I'm oh, saying? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, how about Tabiso was my lady? If Tabiso can rock here, so can Yeah. I. You know what hey, I mean? Yo, There's also that, that was very common, eh? Ah, my man. Ah, ah, Tabiso, ah, that guy. Tabiso was in high school. Yeah. If he can rock here, ah, Nami, I can rock here. Let Nami just going to be with ex me. Ex ex exactly. Hey, and you... There are situations where... Yeah. I don't know if you know the story about Peter Crouch when he got signed to Liverpool. Okay. He he met the receptionist. Sure. At that uh, Liverpool thingy, uh, re yeah. reception area. Sure. And he was smitten. Sure. He was. He kept talking about her the whole day. Yo, guys, who's the receptionist? Yes. Oh, she's so beautiful. I think I've seen. I I've want met to leave, the I, want, one. I want to leave her, uh, leave her liver in a pool. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> of thumb. <laughs> Yo, it's a kids show. It's a kids show. But he did uh, that, and then he started telling the other players. Yeah. Yo, I saw this receptionist. This sure. Trip. Sure. So the players knew what was up. Sure. So the players he told kept saying, yo, come tell this guy what you said. Yeah. Um, until everyone knew. Only to find out that that day, mm. Xavi Alonso's wife mm. was filling in at the reception. Hey, so this is his new teammate. But now this guy spent the whole day Talking spreading this message of that receptionist, yeah. she is mine. So no. now you're like, hey, Dwana, Hadi. But now we we must be teammates. Yeah. But you know this guy when he looks at my wife, yeah. he thinks 
Yeah. Exactly. One day is one day. Yeah. So it just happens. She Some guys just don't express it. Just, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she had his own goals. My there. dude, we're out of time. Uh, we are being shouted at. Oh, yeah, Where yeah, can yeah. people catch you in action, my man? What you up to? What are you working on? Oh, yes. Uh, I'm doing... Uh, so... If you want to catch me, catch me on social media, Tabiso Comedian on all social media platforms. Yes, sir. Um, always at Shakers every Wednesday uh, in Maboneng. Oh, doing yes. A comedy yes. show with uh, Baxter and Dabalim, Extreme Comedy Wednesday. And then 3rd and 4th of November, I'm doing my one-man show. Yes, uh, that's going to be at the Bioscope Independent Cinema in for the first Stanley Mill Park. So, yeah, tickets are up online now. You can go buy the tickets, you know what I'm saying? But, yes, uh, beyond that, check me out on social media. I always post my gigs. Yes, sir. And you never know, maybe I might be on O-Ship. Very mm. quiet in this studio right now. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> no one is saying a thing. Okay? It's all right. You leave me speechless. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, comedian Tabiso Shongo. Yeah, yeah. This is... Wow! What a week. What a week. Celebrity guest. Celebrity guest. Welcome back to Wow, What a Week. Our celebrity guest is in the building. His name in Isikosa means joy. Something he's generated in many people. But they are fans of soapies, action movies, or just rugged, heroic types. So while I sit here trying not to feel less manly, because most men would love his body, but also most women would love his body too, please give a wow welcome to Vuyo Dabula. <laughs> 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 oh my god, that was <laughs> very creative. <laughs> What's up, my dude? No, I'm good. How you doing, brother? Grand. Yeah, no, kishap, wena. Le time alaka kito. Right? Oh man, this guy's trying to get me to cry. <laughs> That's my twin right there, yeah. Why, why would you cry about uh, your boy? I think, you know, that's like the best kind of uh, most perfect thing right now. Yes, sir. Uh, 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 um, uh, I think in my life, I think. Um, and uh, I think, you know, just watching the little guy, mm. you know, and interacting with him mm. and, you know, um, experiencing my time with him. I think um, I'm learning kind of a lot about what I missed as mm. as, 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 as a boy. Mm. So I'm, but there's a lot of things that I'm seeing yes, that I'm remembering and, mm. you know. Um, Th things like what, if you don't mind us asking? <clears throat> He talks a lot. Mm. Uh, he asks a lot of, uh, you know, questions. You know, he's very passionate about his soccer. I wasn't really uh, passionate about soccer. I was always passionate about, you know, boxing and what have you. Mm. Mm. But I'm, I'm kind of getting that enthusiasm, yes, you know, that, 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 that I, may, I may have missed mm. about myself. And uh, I'm getting all of that... Um, uh, uh, just, just that, just that youth and just mm, freedom, you know, so. to be, you know, you, mm, mm. Uh, without any other things that we need to kind of be. What, what, what are your hopes and dreams for for your little boy? I just, he just needs to be himself. Yeah. He just needs to be confident and uh, be himself. Uh, pursue whatever it is that he wants. Mm. You know, I call mm. him my twin. But uh, so only six pack. <laughs> <laughs> actually, <laughs> actually, he's very active. Yeah. But he's got his mother's mind as well. He's okay. very intelligent. Oh yes, very, yes, yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. Um, you know, he's got uh, the best of both worlds. Mm. Uh, uh, so yeah. yeah. Let's, let's talk about little you though. Growing mm -hmm. up in Mafeking, what are your fondest memories of growing up in in Maftan? <laughs> I think. Uh, uh, we we were like a, uh, back when I was growing up. Uh, mm. So wasn't we, we we didn't really have uh, uh, money or anything like that. Mm. But you know we were kind of you know getting by. But we were that, that one family with the with the television. Oh yeah, <laughs> was it a blaupunkt? Eh? Was it a blaupunkt? I can't tell you with that orange can't thing for chewing. Much. Yeah yeah, like you, you've got to go in. <laughs> It's not as easy as uh, and, and uh, you that were, we have and, now. And yeah. you, you were the remote. Yeah. When, when your dad wants to watch the news, 
go to you've got to go yeah 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 lehura la ngwana ka go rogwa ya exactly it's like uh, uh, um, um, 100 meters from you know just a few meters from 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 the tv in and the room divide it's like right there right <laughs> but you've got to go change the television yeah um yeah so i remember you know the the, the friends that you know would come and you know we'd watch like our favorite uh, mm. shows oh so uh, you were the you, so, so you were the kids on the street with the with the tv with the television. so what's about tv Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. We had the same problem for a while. Yeah, and we we're told don't sit on the couches. You must sit on the carpet. Yeah, But yeah, By the yeah, time yeah. we're done, the carpet has sent. We got it. Like we got <laughs> it. When we didn't, we didn't have to be told. We yeah. actually got it. We just, you know, went in there, and the kids would just sit there by the, you know, on a, on a, on a carpet. Yes, sir. And uh, you know, watch whatever show it was. But uh, I think. Um, Yeah, I enjoyed those enjoyed those times mm. with uh, you know uh, my friends and what have you, and just the freedom mm. to be kind of you and without necessarily having to kind of play to anything, oh, know, yes, play any yes. kind of character mm. or mm. Uh, fit in, or, or being able to leave home at seven in the morning, and they only see you in the evening, but they know you're safe wherever you are. Oh no, no, it wasn't like that with me. Oh, so it wasn't. No, 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 no. They, 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 they. They, uh, oh, I had to be at home at a certain time. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mm. just, they always knew where I was. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, And I think that's why the, the whole TV thing was a yes. good thing because it kept you I there. did, it kept me there. Ah, yeah. yes. Yeah. Because it, yeah. we, we always lament with my, my friends mm. that if our parents actually knew the number of kilometers we traveled in one day <laughs> just to go play somewhere whether yeah. you're walking or you're on your bicycle yeah they'd probably have a heart attack no no it wasn't because the case we with me. traveled yeah just we don't tell us somewhere no no or, 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 or we hear or there's a there's a there's a pretty girl somewhere yeah you know we travel just to go past the house and hopefully you'll what, see what her. age group they, is that well, okay It's what between, age group was between that? Between grade three and grade seven. Because I was a late bloomer with the ladies, still. Hey, but nah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is that why you're like? I'm I was like twenty one. Yeah, I was like twenty one when I was like, okay, what, what's up? I heard yeah, there's yeah, a thing yeah. called a girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It was hectic. I mean, I, I I grew up in a cocoon. Like a, it's like a very protective yeah. uh, environment. Yeah. But things weren't easy at Safe. all. Safe. <laughs> Yeah, look, I mean, mm. things were not necessarily easy. Um, uh, you know, later on, my uh, parents, you mm. know, did, you know, uh, 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 separated, mm. and uh, you know, things were left uh, to my mother to kind of, uh, you know, uh, take care of things. Mm. Uh, so things even got a little bit. Uh, Uh, tricky mm, mm. Uh, with school uniform, cl sure. you know, shoes. Uh, so you're how old at this at this stage? <clears throat> Fresh. I don't. You know, I've got an issue. Mm. I think there's a psychological thing. Probably. Mm. I don't remember exactly. Oh yes, yes, yes. <laughs> mm. hey, maybe you, you know, some it people off. do. Maybe can, it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Probably, mm. probably, yeah, mm. probably. Mm. And that's a very. Um, um, To, to no surprise, I think that's like a go-to thing. Mm. I'm sure, if, you know, if you don't really appreciate things, mm. whatever it is that you may have experienced, mm. yeah, you kind of... So when things are tricky, but you're also a child at the time, yeah. what was your understanding of this trickiness and how bad or worse things are? It, you know, it's like, you know, the world is unsafe. Mm. The world is... I think that's where, you know, you kind of formulate, you know, how you get to see the world. Mm. And I think, you know, I see, I saw a world of lack. Mm. Um, you know, I saw a world of, uh, you know, uh, it, it wasn't safe, mm. you know. Um, so you kind of uh, retreat to kind of... How do I put it? I think it's uh, you just want to protect yourself at you know at, at all times. Mm. Uh, you're not free to be yourself. You you kind of preempting everything, uh, filtered, <clears throat> you know, with with, with with how you see the world filtered with that uh, with the world that you're living in. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So yeah. So mom has to obviously pick up pieces. Yeah. yeah. And 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 raise you as they always do. A ab yeah. Absolutely. It's, it's, it's a story it's, of most of our lives. Yeah. It is wild, because uh, uh, often when I speak at schools and they ask me my role model, 
I tell them that my role model is your average black African woman Mm -hmm. because of how much they can do with next to nothing and how much time they put into everything. She'll wake up at four or five in the morning to make sure the kids are ready for school, get herself ready, make sure that Letaima has eaten or had his porridge, go to work, come back in the evening, cook for you, cook for the family, cook for the, make sure the kids are in bed. Yeah, yeah. And we don't leave home until we're like 21. So that that, that, that is happening for years. Every single day. Yeah, every single day. That's the average life of your average Mm. black African woman. Yeah, yeah. So now for me, those those are my heroes. Those yeah. are the heroes no, that absolutely. we ought to be looking up to. Yeah. How was the relationship with dad in that period? Uh, when they uh, yes. separated, I yes. mean, you know, for for uh, for a young men, you know, um, at the time, I think you 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 kind of you you your father is a hero, mm. you know, to mm. you. And I see my son, you know, he thinks. And this angel, this hero, yeah, you know, it's, yeah. you know, he's he's gonna get my approval all the mm, time. True. And I'm, you know, kind of remembering that right when I watch him. And uh, and I'm like, oh my god, I just, you know, I gotta listen to him and mm-hmm. you know spend time with him and whatever it is, you know. Uh, and uh, I, honestly, I miss that. Mm. I missed it. I see now, you know, uh, spending time with the little guy mm. that, you know, how he uh, appreciates that. And it comes natural to him to want it, to seek it out. Mm. And um, I think likely there's somebody there, mm. uh, which, you know, I think I didn't have. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So the, the, but it's not, that's not what you asked. You said, how was the relationship? Yes. I think, yeah, it, it was a bit tricky. Yeah, because they were, <clears throat> uh, you know, he stayed, you know, he, he didn't stay with us, obviously. And mm. uh, so I didn't get much time to spend time with him mm. uh, uh, or opportunity to spend time with him. Yeah. Mm. But interestingly enough, I still saw a hero mm. in him. You know, mm. I still wanted to spend time with him and, sure. you know, have mm. time. And, and I think that yearning, it, 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 it never goes away. It doesn't go away. You've got to deal with it. You, you, you have yeah. to deal with it, but also maybe, especially in your mind as a child, reconcile what might be a conflict. Um, especially if things might not be okay between mom and dad mm. uh, because of dad, but he's still your hero. You still want to spend time with him. And you still understand that, kill it, mm-hmm. regardless of what anyone else might say, still kill it. But I didn't like you've got a very, uh, uh, very incisive, you know, way of seeing it mm. for that time. Mm. Uh, but I didn't see it. I, I didn't. For, for, I didn't comprehend. Yes, yes, yes. Um, maybe I blocked it away or compact, 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 compact. Com- Compartmentalized. Compartmentalized. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the word. <laughs> that might be a freaking meme. Anyway, yeah. So you put it in a box, right? Yeah. You put it in a box. You put it in a compant- uh, co- compartment. 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 Yes, sir. And um, you know, um, because you don't want to deal with it. Mm. I think. Sure. The most important thing will resonate with you. Mm. You know, I think the most important thing for me was, you know. Um, this 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 great hero that I have mm. that's a father mm. and I'm not seeing any of his mistakes sure. or anything like mm. that. Mm. Um and uh you know I'm I'm um I need that vision of him. Yes sir. Uh that version of him. Uh that that the only version that I only know, you know, mm. the, the the only version that I know. Yeah. And um but you know he's not there. True. Mm. You know, mm. and I'm trying to figure out. Even though I'm trying to figure f- figure it out, mm. like why he's not here, mm. I just don't like. For me, at that time, I don't understand why he's mm. not there. Mm. Yeah, for mm. some reason. Mm. It's mm. very clear that they separ- separated, and I sure. know exactly why they sure. you know mm. i saw it i experienced it mm. it was a bit of a violent uh, sort of vibes mm. there mm. uh but at the same time um 
I'm not dealing it, dealing with it accordingly. Mm. I'm not uh, uh, adding up the, you know, the numbers correctly. Yeah, it's not. It's not mathematicking. It's not mathematicking. Yeah. It's just, it's just somebody <laughs> balance me here. I still want this man. There's still a know, hero here. There's somewhere. still a hero here. Yeah, mm. yeah. For mm. some reason, I just, mm. I can't explain it. And that's why I feel it's so important to be there with my son because mm. it seems like it's everything mm. and it's it's like the holy, you know, mm. grail yes. for a young man. Mm. Um, you know, he's nine now, mm. so... I don't know what time, you know, what year, he's, you know, he's going to start vilifying me. Mm. Until then... Until continue then, yeah. being the staring. Yeah, okay. yeah. Continue yeah. being the staring. It's gonna. Yeah. How did mom and dad's relationship affect your relationship with women? With women. Yeah. Uh, Especially uh, given what you saw, what you experienced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, whether it's the violence or the love or anything else that you might have experienced. Yeah. For, because know, often how we relate with the opposite sex is based on what we've experienced, seeing either with our folks or mm. just male role models in our lives? Um, I understood it to be wrong mm. and, you know, uh, not intellectually. Sure. Um, you know, emotionally it had like an impact on me. Mm. And mm. Uh, so I think um, I never wanted any woman to go through that, mm. you know. Mm. I think the best version of, you know, my violence, in a way, uh, for lack of a better way of putting it, with uh, my ex-wife, mm. you know, at the time she was my wife, I um, shouted, mm. you know, we were in a disagreement and then I shouted and... Um, you know, mid-argument, mm. I saw myself. Mm. You know, uh, there was a there was a, there was a bell in my head. Like, oh hey, what's happening? What mm. are you doing? Mm. Uh, dial it back a bit. Yeah, yeah, dial it back, and then mm. I started, uh, you know, talking calm. How, how did you respond at that moment when you snapped? Um. She, <sighs> You know, we, we, we were kind of, it was escalating. Oh, yes. The yes, more yes. I shouted, she, you know, she was, okay. uh, you know, she was pushing as well. Mm. Um, mm. And uh, like any other human Dude, being. Dude, if you shout at me, I'm keeping the, sh I'm going to shut the fuck up. This is me. Uh, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> I'm like the, I'm like the chillest person anyway. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so. <laughs> Fresh. <laughs> You like how many kgs on me? Uh, like you, you catch me with one, uh, no, I'm gone. My man, there'll be 130 <laughs> kgs of me saying, sorry, Gaddafi. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, that's funny. Yeah, so I think uh, she, you know, she, you know, when I when I when I come down, she kind of, uh, you know, she came mm, down as well, mm. and uh, it was quite interesting to see as well that, mm. you know, we were at each other's necks mm -hmm. and the moment when I uh, you know calmed down she also just came down and we started talking mm. uh, some sense mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. because 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 I know generally you don't want to talk about that era of your life um, yeah yeah like I don't want to but I'm mm. like kind of also in a stage at a, at a stage where I feel like um, sometimes, you know, if you've got a bigger voice, you yeah. kind of have to sort of uh, open yourself in a way because mm. there's a lot of people, there's no difference between, there's a lot of people who are going through the same, yes. Yes. same old thing that I'm yeah. going through. Mm. And uh, you kind of, if they're looking up to you as well, mm. uh, it means a lot for them to find out that, oh, okay. Mm. Um so okay, when, this is so, what I can do. So yeah. when you say that, that, that a lot of people going through what you're going through, what are you going through? <laughs> you, you went there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just retaining your energy. <laughs> 
Um, you know, I mean, I think yeah, there's there's a lot that I'm going through. Mm. Um, you know, I played a character for a very long time. Mm. You know, Gaddafi. Yes. And uh, you know, I felt like um, for an artist, mm. for a creative, you can't you know you know be you know play the same thing for a very long time. And uh, I think basically what I'm trying to say is. Um, you you wanna you wanna get to a point where you are challenged mm. all the time, mm. you know, as an artist. You you wanna be in that space uh, where your creativity is kind of uh, you know challenged. You are uh, you are growing and playing this character for a very long time. Uh, that I did, I fell into a very comfortable space mm. uh, where. <clears throat> I kind of neglected, you know, the things that you need to do to kind of prepare to get into character and mm. to, you know. Um, uh, so I think I got into a very boring uh, space mm. and uh, it kind of rubbed off my uh, spirit, my soul mm. a very in, in a very uncomfortable way, mm. you know, and very um, in ways that I felt like, okay, um, uh, now I'm questioning mm. my integrity as an <laughs> as, a, as as an artist, mm. Mm. and that went on for a very long time. And I felt like, and 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 then that's when I pulled back. Mm. When I pulled back, you know, there were other opportunities that I was, you know, I was excited about, you know, mm. doing different other other different things, and I got to do, you know, a few things here that, and there, and then. You know, when I thought, okay, cool, things are picking up and I'm, you know, I'm working, I'm doing different things now. Um, I got shot, mm. um, you know, botched hijack. Mm. Um, and um, couldn't use, you know, be myself, couldn't mm. go to the gym, couldn't do anything, basically. Where, where were you take shot? A proper, I was shot in the shoulder. Mm. Um, I caught like, you know, three in my shoulder. Jesus. Um, a matter of fact, uh, the incident when it happened, mm. I kind of, you know, moved my head away and then, you know, put my gas, my, my foot in the gas, mm. uh, you know, to move away from the situation. Mm. And if you look at, uh, you know, I haven't, I think I may have posted it actually, mm. on one of my posts on Instagram, there's a bullet hole mm. where my head would have been. Be. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. So... Uh, close shave with, uh, you know, with, with, with death. Mm. Um, I was able to drive myself to the hospital and everything. Uh, got, you know, treated and what have mm. you. And uh, as, I think... As you're driving yourself to hospital, what are you saying to yourself? What conversation are you having with yourself? Or with God even? I know I got hit, mm. right? Because I felt it like, you know, scapula, mm. you know, um, <laughs> the doctors say it's a hairline fracture. Mm. Uh, so it didn't really break it. This is, you know, fractured mm. it a bit. Mm. I felt that hit. Mm. And when they say when you get shot, uh, if it's soft tissue, you can't feel it until your body tells you, OK, cool. I can't do this no more uh, yes. because I'm injured. Right. Mm. Uh, but then I, it, the, 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 how I knew I got shot was, mm. you know, that that. Uh, uh, the scapula getting uh, fractured, mm. you know, by by the shrapnel, the bullet. Mm. Um, so I got when you got hit, I felt like a small trickle of blood uh, on my back, mm. and um, I think you know that's when I started, you know, kind of panicking. But at the same time, thinking, okay, but it's a small trickle of blood, mm. right? Mm. And uh, my heart kind of gave uh, an irregular beat. Jeez. <laughs> and then I remember thinking... So you were thinking, in a movie. <laughs> I was in a movie. So I remember thinking to myself, hey, listen, um, you, you need to calm yourself down. Yeah. Small trickle of blood and you're not feeling any dizzy. Mm. So calm yourself down. And I think immediately after saying that, mm. uh, I felt, you know, my heart rate, you know, getting back to normal. And then I got myself to the hospital. Mm. <laughs> got there, parked the car, 
uh, on the uh, ambulance bay. Mm. Remember thinking, but what if like a real, you know, because I'm still walking and everything. Yeah, what if mm. a real case comes, mm, mm. Uh, backed off and packed elsewhere? Dude, three bullet yeah. wounds. You are the case coming took, in. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> took, taking out. Yeah, like I know, but I'm like, you know, breathe. I'm like, you know, moving, mm. you know, normally. I took my car keys, wallet and everything. Called my brother, called, you know, my neighbor, called, mm. you know, did, did you think you were going to die? Uh, I only thought I was going to die when the guy pulled the gun out and he cocked it and pointed at me. Jeez. I thought, okay, this is happening. Yeah. But, you know, moments afterwards as I'm driving away, I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'm not a ghost yet. I'm still alive, so we're doing this. We get into the hospital, it's okay. You yeah. Know? yeah, yeah. And they're, gonna, no, they're not going to catch up. Did they um, shoot because you drove off? I or, think that's what. That's or do they you think sh- they were gonna shoot anyway? Look, I mean, if 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 you're gonna shoot anyway, you're gonna cock the gun. You're yes. gonna bridge the gun mm. when you're inside your vehicle. Sure. You're not gonna come out and then mm. cock it and let mm. me see yes. what's about to happen. Jeez. So you letting me see what's going to happen is telling mm. you telling me that I must get it, shocked it's and freeze. Yes, 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 oh yes. no, whatever. I must yeah. comply. Mm. You know. So if I don't comply, you get irritated and whatever, mm. and then you pull the trigger. You walk into ER, but you still get us. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> the bottom line is, yes, Voyo Double has been shot. Yeah. But just the walking into this ER as this TV and movie star. Yeah. Are they shocked to your shot? Or are they shocked that, oh, shit, I can now get an autograph? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think they're shocked. It's like, oh, it's really him. Like, yes. it's like a whole movie. That's He's been shocked, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it must be a mind they fuck. associate, yeah, yeah, yeah. To watch you walk yeah. in and you've been shot. Yeah, yeah. I mean, as a thespian, obviously, you pull deep somewhere yeah. into, like, some sort of, research, like, like, depth. Yes. And then you can give a character, mm. right? And I mean, I so I don't blame people that you know might see you and think that you're that guy. Yes, yes, you yes. know. Um, but <laughs> I'm not that guy. Maybe when they saw me, that's like the kind of feeling that they had, or mm. that it's this guy. It's it's you know. Yes, sir. Uh, he's a bad boy. Mm. He got shot. Mm. This is happening, and mm. what what have you? But um, I didn't even register that. Mm. In fact, I just um, just the way I was calm. Mm. Um, there was a there was a dude there was a white dude you know there was a group of people between me and the nurse mm. in front of them and I was behind them and I just calmly said I just uh, you know uh, sorry I just got shot Jeez. Um, and uh, I wasn't hyperventilating or anything mm. like that I was very calm I just got shot and then there was a guy uh, in the group he mm. just you know he, he jumped up and he turned around and he was like Jesus bro why are you so calm you, you mm. got shot mm. and uh, I don't know I just said hey listen I'm, I'm, I'm I seem to be okay mm. <laughs> uh, just you know deal with the What's wrong? Uh, with the shrapnel in my body do you go for counseling about that incident? Uh, Are you uh, no, I incident? haven't. I haven't. I haven't. Do you feel you should? Does, I think I, I definitely have to. Mm. I think I, I, I need to unpack. Mm. I need to definitely unpack. Um, how, how has it affected your relationship with mortality and just life and living and, mm. the, and the life you are living? Yeah. Mm. I just definitely does a, you know, does. <laughs> Like you appreciate life more. I, I definitely do appreciate uh, life more, and mm. I think you know there's a reason mm. for uh, you know uh, time that I was given. Sure. Um, uh, but you know, I think you know just immediately after the incident, I just kind of felt there's a way you 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 feel kind of invincible. Sure. Yeah, you mm. feel. It'll, like, it'll never I happen got to shot, me. Mm. You know, yeah, I got shot and I lived through it. You oh, yes, feel yes. there's a there's a machismo that comes with that. Oh yes, there's a, yes, there's, yes. A, there's a thing that comes with that. Are and you then, saying you're quarter to releasing a, a rap album? <laughs> <laughs> 
I got hit three times. I took it with a smile. Whatever. Um, nah, nah. I, I, you know, um, yeah. I'm not mm. gonna go there, but like, yeah, it it just mm. the things do happen, sure. And then, you know, you see how you know South Africa is an incredibly. I think it is a violent. Mm. Uh, no, we have know, a violent country. Problem. We, we have, have a, a violent problem. Yeah. Yeah. So I think uh, you see things happening. Yeah. And um, and then you see how close you were. Mm. Yeah. Did you cry about it in any stage? No. Nah. Mm. Nah. It's very, very, uh, you know, suspicious yeah. after the the incident. Incident. Uh, and, and, and suspicious as in what? As in you watch your back more now? Yeah, or, yeah. Look at the or, time. Or, or you suspect it was a hit, but maybe it wasn't a hijacking. I did. I did. I did think it was, but um, you know, I wasn't followed going into the street. Mm. And uh, you know whatever happened happened like after like quite a while. Sure. You know when I drove into the street. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Let's uh, change angle a little bit. Yeah. Um, just talking career. You at some stage had to choose a thing between Queen Sono and was it Generations? Yeah, yeah. Um, take us through that 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 period in your life. Um, because because you're, you're, you're in a career where, one, mm -hmm. you're living literally gig to gig, yes. generally. Yes. Uh, you guys don't have like gigs where you know I'm set for life Absolutely. or that I can get a bond and I'll be fine for 10 years. Absolutely. There's almost uncertainty all the time. <laughs> But you're also in an industry where some productions are selfish. And mm -hmm. we'll say to you, if you're working with us, you can't work with this other production. Yes. Yeah. So, so take us through just... I think, you know, when I joined uh, uh, Generations, they were a lot different yeah. from yeah, the, what they may have been mm. in the past. True. Um, they were a lot more relaxed. Mm. So it wasn't so much of a choice, really. Mm. Um, uh, when uh, uh, Generations, um, when Queen Sona came by, mm. you know, um, uh, I literally could do both. Mm, yes. Yeah. So why did you have to choose? I did, that's what I'm saying. Mm. It, it, it wasn't much of a it, it wasn't much of a choice. Mm. Yeah, because I could do a lot of things. I did uh, five fingers for my say when yes, when, 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 when when I was in generations. Mm. It was a lot different for me mm. when 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 I was they 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 kind of you know they did uh, let me do uh, other stuff. Uh, my thing. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm. Mm. Uh, last month, uh, Phil Impella uh, tweeted. Uh, Voyo Dabula joining Uzalo is wild for me. Uh -huh. Nothing against Uzalo. I just hate that we live in a country where actors have to take any job to survive. Voyo is a leading man. I wish he could be doing movies and series. Uh, what are your thoughts on a tweet like that? Oh, that's, that's a sweet thing to say. Um, <laughs> I think... Uh, whew, yes, I shouldn't shoot myself in the foot, right? Um, you were shot three times, man. You can shoot yourself <laughs> wherever. Shoot <laughs> <laughs> oh, fresh. Um, I think uh, to an extent he is, you know, he is, you know, artistically for mm. myself without mm. judging anything. Yes, sir. Uh, I would you know that's that's you know that's where the industry should go mm. and i've always said that you know uh the a-listers right now are soapy actors mm. um i don't know if that uh <clears throat> if the industry is changing now with like you know your streaming uh, uh your big streaming giants mm. like your netflix and what i don't know if that's you know with, with you, you know with the audience and mm. fans I don't know if their psyche is moving towards, you know, where you know where we should be, where uh, film uh, projects mm. are producing A-listers. Sure. Um, certainly, we need to go there for mm. business, for everything. We need to actually get there uh, for the world to actually take us seriously. Mm. Uh, because elsewhere in the world, movie stars, you know, those are the 
A-listers. Absolutely. You don't have, uh, I can't remember all your soapy actors, mm. like your Ridge mm. uh, and, you know... Uh, yeah. yeah, there was a hierarchy. There was like a pecking hi- yeah, yeah, like yeah. order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, you know, uh, um, uh, we we don't know much about your soapy world mm, mm. I- I- in America, sure. unless you know that's your thing. Yeah. Uh, when we see when we talk about the industry um, in America, mm. you know, immediately this, you know you think about your Denzels and your 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 um, Jamie Fox, your Will Smith, and what have you. Those are the A-listers mm. and what they do. So, when you come this side, you know I gotta get on Uzalo. I gotta get on uh, yes. uh, generations mm. for me to be big. All I was all. I was doing so much mm. even before. Generations is actually what like seven years into your career. Into my career. Yeah. Yeah. Up until then, <laughs> I've done so much more. Mm that people do not necessarily remember me for. And I get surprised when people remember me for some of the stuff that I did before our mm. generations. It goes to show you, um, you got to get into a soapy. You mm. got to get into a, 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 a daily. Mm. And that's the nature, the complexion of the industry in yes. South Africa. So we need to remember our ecosystem that we're functioning within before we compare it to the U.S. system, for instance. Yes. Is that what you're saying? I I think we need to be cognizant of that. Mm. But at the same time, we need to push to a level where they where they are because the talent and the infrastructure and everything the technical uh, 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 savvy is there. Mm. Everything is there. Sure. uh, To create like an industry that's very similar to I think America, where A-listers mm. are film people, yes, and TV dramas and whatnot, not mm. soapies. Mm. We're like days of our lives. Sure, we're like hyping days of our lives instead of <laughs> <laughs> instead of, instead five of fingers. big instead of five fingers instead yeah. of uh, you know uh, where we should be. Mm. We've got the talent. We've got the integrity. Uh, we need to look at ourselves, uh, search our souls, and you know, start working towards if, that. Yeah. If you could change anything outside of what you've just said now, if mm-hmm. you could change anything about our industry in terms of film and TV, what would that be? What would happen? If it was up to you, what would change? Yeah, um, if it was up to me, I would say bums on seats mm. you know people don't go to watch a movie because um you know paramount or mm. you know focus produced it they go watch a movie because will smith is in it yes mm. uh that's the business yeah. you know um and uh you know will smith has the luxury to do whatever he wants to do in mm. between uh, projects. He can take as much time that he needs to debrief from oh, one yes. character mm. and then go play the other character. It's very important. Or take a year to prepare for to, the next Or take role. a year to prepare for for, mm. for, uh, for for a role, which is also very important. It's mm. very in- integral uh, when it comes to um, you know an actor's process. Sure. It's very important. It's part of mm. what should be happening. Sure. Um, yeah, so I think um, you know, in short, pay uh, uh, the guys, the, the artists, the mm. people that actually, uh, um, you know, get people to come and watch your show. Yes, sir. Uh, let, you know, just try and balance that that, that equation. Mm. Mm. And, um, yeah, have, you know, make it possible for people to be like you were saying, you know, to, to live, mm. to live like you sure. know like adults and to you know afford their homes and their their nice yeah make a living not living from paycheck to paycheck from roll to straight to pocket yeah yeah you know where you can't even save yeah because there's nothing that doesn't sa- make sense it doesn't make sense that's a billion billion rand 
industry. It, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. That you guys we and, need and, to and, have and, uh, and sadly piece of the pie. in our minds, because you're on TV, you must be rich. Yeah. yeah. In our minds, because you're on whatever production, I know you must be have money. And it's a select few. That's the people that are in the industry yeah. uh, or, or related to somebody in the industry. True. We get to see mm. uh, live. Sure. What it means to be an actor mm. in South Africa. The time majority of actors don't even own a car. Absolutely. Not because they don't want a car, they can't afford it. But they can't afford it. Yeah. Or they can't take the yeah. risk because you don't know if you're gonna, yeah. in a year. And somebody's worried right now yeah. because they haven't been able to pay. The next installment. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that I can guarantee you. So how rough is that on your mental, that that's the industry you're in? <laughs> I don't know how to answer that question. <laughs> you bum you. <laughs> um, look, I mean, I've. <laughs> that's an experience that mm. that that you know, uh, without a doubt, you're going to go through. Mm. Uh, and I've been in the industry for a very long time, which yeah. means. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Um, as a man, you know, mm. we've got to provide, we've got to do this, um, that for you to be mm. considered, mm. you know, you've got to take the, you take the boxes as well, even yeah. without every, anybody, you know, uh, looking at you and saying, you've got to do, you take the boxes as well. Mm. If you, you're not able to take those boxes, I can't, you know, I can't take my child to school. I can't, yeah. I can't do this. I can't afford this car. I can't do this. Mm. Then... It's you as a man. Mm. You know, you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't protect. Mm. Um, and I think that's, you know, that's that's uh, that's a big thing. Mm. Because that's like the foundation, that's like the fountain of mm. everything. Mm. You know, as a man, you need to be able to do this and this and this and this and that. Mm. You can't do it, then you question yourself as a, as, as, as a man. Mm. And if you question yourself as a man, then that means that you can't get to a point where because it's a mental thing. It is. You hence, can't get to where you. you hence, you, I'm asking. You need to, if you, mm. you can't get with you know point A to B where mm. you need to be, um, if you doubt. Sure. Mm. You know, mm. what's actually an essential part of you, your essence. How, how do you keep yourself sane? You gotta, you know, some of it is luck, mm. you know, support system. If you're lucky enough to have, uh, you know, good friends mm. who uh, understand the fields, the terrain, yeah. the environment that you're working in, um, you will get some good support. And where do you turn to at your lowest? Oh, my king. Mm. Lowest? Mm. Like real lowest mm. when you know um, motivation is gone, all the you know motivation videos, all everybody is gone. Mm. You know when people kill themselves, they're like all by themselves, mm. right? Um, I tend to myself. Mm. Yeah, I really, it's just, I just can't. You know, you're gonna lose, and then what? Mm. So how what bad happened? how bad has it gotten for you? If at all it's ever gotten bad, <clears throat> what do you mean? Whichever, just in your life generally, either as an actor or as a man or as a human being, where were things at the worst for you, and what do you think carried you through that moment? Uh, <laughs> I think. Uh, because people look at our lives and they it's think ev everything is hunky dory. Yeah, yeah. The naughty. Yeah, yeah. That 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 we're living the life, but yeah. half the time, you you you. The only reason I'm looking the, the way I am and you're seeing me mm. is because I chose that today is not the day I'm ending it all. Yeah, you know yeah. What I mean? You never. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I I decided that today is the day I hang on. And you but never. But people know. never see it because you never talk you, about you it. You never. Yeah, you never know. I think that's a you know people get desensitized when mm. they see you on film on mm. TV. Mm. Uh, they get desensitized to you to to your humanity. To Oh, yes, as a human yes, being, yeah. right? You're an object. You're an object. Mm. You become that. And uh, I think it would be a lot more encouraging to them if they finally figured out that we're the same. 
you mm. know. Uh, or if anything, you are probably going through way more than the level. You will never know. Yeah. You never exactly. know uh, because I don't tell. I don't mm. say. Mm. Um, so I mean, I've, I've been, I've been like you know, proper rock, rock. Uh, you know, we, we touched on it, like you know, mm. on, you, you know, uh, you know, we spoke about you know not being able to uh, provide or protect, and, mm. and that questions your man, your 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 you as a man. Mm. And I've been there uh, where, and I'm, I'm questioning mm. who I am as a man and as a person, and. Uh, um, and I'm thinking, oh my goodness, like I'm so old. Mm. Yeah, I haven't really, you know, uh, done as much as, oh, nearly mm. as close to where I, I should be. Yeah, what do I have to show for my what age? What do I have to show for my age? Mm. Mm. And being... And in, it's a real struggle. In, in the industry, mm. yeah. Mm. yeah. So I think, you know, I might get stoned or whatever. Mm. Uh, um, <laughs> you know, you know, but there's a lot of people who are going through real people uh that are going through these real situations mm. um uh second part of your questions what you know what, what pulls me through again it's just me mm. you know it's just me because everything falls away <laughs> you know you you can trust you know honestly and i don't want to disappoint anyone mm. Um, who's religious and spiritual. But there's a lot of people who've prayed mm. and yet here I am. Mm. You know, he, he, here you are, but you've prayed. You've gone every... You've done everything. You know, spiritual... Mm. Yeah, yeah. You've, you've tried... And you're a nice person and you bother no one. Yeah, yeah. You don't... You don't yeah, you're not trying to... And you still know, your shit is falling and apart. And everything is falling apart. Mm. So I think... You know, at the end of the day, <laughs> you left with, you left with yourself to face your, yourself. Mm. I don't know. It's a very interesting thing. Mm. Mm. Like I can, you know, uh, and I used to be, you know, deep, you know, Christian. Mm. Read my Bible and everything, and you know that whole thing. Mm. Um, you know, African spiritual, spiritual, spiritualism as well. Mm. Um, traditional beliefs. Um, but at the end of the day, my experience, my truth now, what I understand faithfully mm. is that if I don't get up, if I don't do what I gotta do, then nothing nothing's gonna happen nothing changes mm. yeah mm. so i often where i have no answer mm. there was a time i'd say god if you're there mm. and now i can't even say that mm. that's just this is crazy i don't know do you feel he's forsaken you um Honestly, I don't know if he's there. Mm. I think black people are some of the most leading in terms of worship. Mm. You know, we've got a swag about it. We've got songs we've Dude, produced. we're more passionate about it than the people who beat it into us. Yeah. And now, you know, uh, who, who's struggling the most? Mm. Is it the people that worship the most, the mm. best at it? Mm. Or is it the people who beat it into them? Mm. I'm not trying to, you know, but th that's my personal question. These are journey. my personal questions. That's my journey. Yeah. Um, you don't have to think about it. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, we, we, we are running out of time, yeah. uh, but we're going to play a uh, quick game. It's called Wow Game. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, first one, wow, you are my son. When was that moment where you're like, geez, this is my son. I've given birth to myself here. With, with Kito. Oh, man, that's... You know, when, when I cut the umbilical cord. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what what was it about that moment that you realized that this is my son? Or was it the six-pack as you were cutting the umbilical cord? I was like, <laughs> damn, this kid is swole. <laughs> 
<laughs> he ca- he came out. He, he he's a special. He came out in the same day that uh, you know his mother's uh, birthday. Yeah. So, like, I think immediately when I when that happened, I was like, okay, all right, all right. Yeah. You're an interesting dude. So sure. you're gonna show up at this, you know. So I gotta have money every time this for this time of the year yeah. for you and your mother. I wanna tell me. I wanna tell me, yeah. Uh, wow, what a twist! Maybe it was an unexpected casting. Tell us about the twist in your career, where it's a casting you never expected and it happened, and you got the got the gig. Oh my goodness! I just, um. I think I think um I think generations. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It was prime time and uh you know uh we we've got a way of playing gangsters in mm. you know, in the country. You mm. know, there's a poetry that comes with it. There's yes, a language yes, yes. that's a tao. Yeah, yeah. You know, and uh you know, I'm all the way from Mafike, you know, mm. I speak like proper Stuart and everything sure. and uh and I was like, oh, how was I gonna do this? And mm. I came in, I did, did my thing. Mm. Um, but you kicked took ass the at it, I took, I took, so there was I a took, lot of work I for took you. an opportunity, yeah, yeah. T- I took the opportunity, yeah. 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 Um, and uh, I did a lot of uh, research. Yeah. Looked at how these guys at that level. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. Um, uh, how they, but they're all charming and very nice and very calm, mm. you know. Mm. Yeah. Uh, mo- uh, most of them. Yeah. Wow, what a wrong turn. Any mistakes you've made that you look back and you're like, oh, wow? <sighs> I'm not a dweller in that. Eh? Yeah. yeah, I don't dwell in... In, 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 uh, in fact, I think, you know, when you make mistakes, it's, it's pretty much um, you getting somewhere. Mm. Um, so if you don't make mistakes, then you don't get to deal with, you know, what you need to learn about yourself. Um, I think I don't mind mistakes mm. all that much. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So I can't really think of anything that sure. uh, mm. uh, that sticks out. Yeah, that 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 sticks out. Wow, what a reality check. <laughs> Oh my goodness, what a reality check. Career wise or it's up to you, whatever it is. It might have been at crash when you realize that, oh, if I eat half my food on the way to crash, I'm gonna be hungry later. <laughs> whatever whatever the reality check is, dude. It's it's your life, your career, you know. <laughs> Because that was one of my reality checks. I'm telling you the story because it happened to me. It happened, yeah. We get picked up. We'd get picked up in this uh, E20. Yeah, and yeah. And because yeah. I was a little plump kid, I'd eat half of my lunch on the way to crash. Yeah. And then at break time, I'm like, oh shit, so I must I still think, eat again. I, th- I, th- I think you know, reality check for me was, uh, you know, having come on, you know, generations becoming yeah. a big star. Sure. You know, yeah. uh, the industry as it is. Mm. You know, <laughs> one moment you're doing something great, sure. and one moment you have to do something. Oh yes. You know, mm. to, to 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 eat. And the the funny thing is, if you're not in that position of power, mm. you get to learn. Or I'm just an actor in. I'm not Vuyota Vila or Gaddafi. I'm just an actor in this. Uh, yeah, Gaddafi stays at the same. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gaddafi stayed at the same. Yeah, Vuyota must still. Vuyota Vila must still go in. Uh, a hustle for the next meal. Yeah, yeah, for the hu- <laughs> for the next meal. Yeah. Wow, what a physique! Which dude has a body? You're like, damn, I've got work to do here. For me, Bruce Lee will always be dude. Bruce Lee will always like zero uh, fat, eh? Absolutely zero. And fat. functionality of yes. his physicality is yeah. like an athlete. Yeah. It's yeah. functional. It's, mm. He's able to do things with. It. Able to he's move. He's not heavy. He's able to move. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Mm. 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 If he slap his woman's ass, then you know, you know. I don't know why I said that, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, are they? Wow, what an ass! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who, who has a hot ass with you? Oh my gosh! You said ass, so you have to do that. Yeah. Um, I have to answer that. Yeah. 
Look at you, man. You're not acting like the same, you know, fresh when you're like, yo, no, I can't shout at you. I can't do anything because you got to. Now you're ordering me to answer a question. <sighs> ah, there's a whole bunch, eh? Tell us there's, the one. Uh, the one, eh? Yeah. Tabuti. Mm. Tabuti, yeah. Tando's ass. Yeah, yeah. With or without I the think lingerie? It's nice. eh? 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 <laughs> With or without the lingerie? Um. Look at me thinking carefully. Yeah, listen very uh, carefully. Uh, the laundry is nice. Yeah, yeah, laundry yeah, yeah. is nice, right? <laughs> no, <laughs> I said I heard that. Yeah, it's yeah. Your, it's your interview, uh, bro. I, yeah. I just work here. Um, the the the, the laundry is, is is pretty good. Yeah. It's nice. She's doing good for herself. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah, but she doesn't have to have the laundry on. I mean, yeah, and it looks flimsy enough to just. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh my God, I'm in trouble. Voyo tubula, tubula, tubula. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta shoot straight, my dude. Uh huh. Uh, you're an incredible talent, man. Uh huh. Um, and I'm hoping that your life story encourages, especially a lot of men out there. Absolutely. To not only embrace your masculinity whatever that means but also to try to always do good and be a good person because mm. often we think being good or being nice or being soft means you're not a man anymore mm -hmm. or that now you've become soft you know what i mean and 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 I'm, I'm hoping your story your journey will inspire many others out there to yeah, pull yourself up by your bootstraps and just get shit done that you need to get done. Mm. That love your kids, spend time with your son. Uh, you're, you're his hero. Uh, you know, you spending money, getting him a mini 4x4 four four, uh, probably means less to him than you spending an hour with him kicking a soccer ball. But a lot of the time we want to throw money at them as opposed to spend time with them. Mm. So seeing you light up as we spoke about Kizo for me was like, wow. You Absolutely. know, because a lot of us firstly can't afford the time because we're working. But even when we can afford the time, it's never moments that matter with our kids. Mm. So, so I'm hoping that uh, Kito will get the best of you since you were not able to get the best of your old man. And uh, that because of that, he'll become an even better dad than mm -hmm. the dad you're trying to become to him. So, yeah. So, yeah. so thank you for, for your story, man. No, absolutely. Absolutely. I think, you know, um, without... I, I remember my father as well, mm. the, the, a lot of positive things about yes. him. And, uh, you know, I talk to him. Mm. Uh, now and then, um, I look at Gito and I yeah. tell him, hey, listen, sure. uh, we're doing good. Sure. We'll be okay. Because mm. yeah, we all make mistakes. Yes. He made his mistakes. Mm. <laughs> I made my mistakes. Mm. Um, and uh, so you, you learn as an older man mm. uh, to pardon your father. Sure. So, uh, you know, pardon, pardon his mistakes. Mm. You understand mm. when you go through it. And that's why I'm able now, when, when, when I'm with him and things are going well, I do now and then say, hey, we're doing good. We're getting there. Yes, you know, because yes, it's, it's, it's a thing. It's a journey. I'm sure it, it's, it's a thing for him. Mm. He sees, he's watching. Yes, sir. And uh, one, I want him to be proud of me mm. on that level. Yes, sir. Yeah. My dude, keep, father. keep climbing, keep fighting. And um, until we're in a box and six foot under, you know, we fight on. Yeah, thank yes, you so much, man. Ladies thank and gentlemen, Voyo Dabula is about to leave the building. Recently, we've had to deal with a number of uncomfortable levels, but it's the high temperatures, rainfall, wind speeds, or anxiety when seeing the international headlines. So here at Wow Wow What a Week, we'd like to wish you calm, or rather peace, peace of mind, body and spirit, and wishing you all a wow week ahead. Shout out to Amp Studios for housing us, Africa Podcast Network, Pezulu Works for the Cinematography, our audio imaging specialist, Otis the Flo Fraser, and our guests, comedian Tabi Somchongo and actor Vuyo Dabula. Creative director, Kuvesh Mohan, and show producer, Kele Mutisa King. Email us at wow at africapodcastnetwork.com. W-A-W, wow, at africapodcastnetwork.com. Have a great week in spite of yourselves.